Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Today, I have a special podcast. This is about the Trump raid. And this is going to be maybe short but sweet. So we find out in the news that the former president, Donald Trump, his house at Mar-a-Lago was raided. And the internet world is a buzz. So I thought I'd give my thoughts on what's going on in a sense. And just uh, once again, come back to this. I did several podcasts and their theme was um, around the impeachment time. So I do have a political type uh, playlist, social media type thing. So I have touched on this orange man bad stuff in the past but let me make it clear before Trump became president I know of him in the sense of that I live in New York I've actually come I've been in proximity of him and I know about him way before um, his fame let's say with TV shows and the fucking nonsense there's a part of me that despises him as a human way before any political stuff. And that's all documented. There's no debates on um, the lawsuits his company has and just a general sense of it business-wise. All the ties with his father and everything going back. The man is a piece of shit, in my opinion. You know, I give no fucks about what you were or your former titles. Although I think in a lot of my political stuff I did, I always tried to come at it with a somewhat fair balance in the sense of, hey, you know what? Trump is was a shitty president, but he didn't bomb as many people as Obama. So is Obama a better murderer than Trump? And I sort of agree with the Biden bullshit. I don't want no fucking weirdo, nutbag, just running the country either. I am no fan of anybody, to be honest. I probably would have went with a Bernie or a Tulsi Gabbard for president type combo in some way. I think both of them would have lended each other well. But here we are talking about Trump raided. And this is uh, just further evidence of this nutbag's depravity, his uh, ability to just lie constantly. You know, I don't give a fuck in a general sense because he's a clown. But nuclear codes, I mean, like nuclear information. And he plays this game with the media like, oh, I'm going to, uh, you know, uh, my rights, a subpoena. And then the Merrick Garland guy comes out, does his press conference, and he's like, oh, you know, we'll make everything public or whatever. And then Donald Trump changes his tune and he's like, oh, you know, whatever. And you can just sense it. And I I don't feel bad for the, you know, Trump Todds who just, you know, follow this guy blindly because he's stupid like them in a way, you know, in that general sense of he's your everyday big mouth from New York. You know, gets the job done, so the guy, he doesn't have to be suave and well-spoken. Because that's like the only thing benefit I give Obama is, you know, the them suck balls, their whole fucking thing, with them having majority, they still, you know, can go fuck themselves with their nonsense, because it's two heads of the same snake, in my opinion. But damn, could Obama speak well, and he was charismatic and engaging. This guy, this Donald Trump is, uh, you know, he's like a fever sore. You know, he just stands out ugly and just fucking, you know, annoyingly. Just annoying. But, look, you know, a free country, go vote. He becomes president, which I don't give a fuck, you know, in that sense either. You just ruin um, any credit. Republicans ever had, and you're still continuing to do it with this nonsense with, oh, you know, who's that dumb cunt saying, 
Um, they're going to impeach. She wrote up papers to impeach Merrick Garland. You know, this lady should be in jail, not a political person. Half the people should be in jail, which is another thing because you know that all this, oh, what does he have on people? It's all bullshit. It's just part of the political game in the United States. Stop with the bullshit now with, oh, Democrats had majority. Well, where is Medicare for all? Where is free college? You know, why aren't we ending homeless and starvation in this country, in this world? Why aren't we leading the world in this area? Well, because no one cares. There's no Democrats and shit and vote blue no matter who can go fuck itself. I don't think people are understanding where this is all leading. This is going to lead to a really bad time, but it's going to come out in the end better. I've said this before. Human beings are changing. Society is changing. We are no longer in this mind frame. And this is a desperate clawing at the, you know, whatever power the GOP, whatever Republicans have left. Politics in general, going for Democrats also, because they're just money-hungry warmongers too. There's no balance anymore. It's just one political party and there's just two different types of mindsets so this man supposedly took codes or took the information kept them out off off site now some of the ironic bullshit about this is he signed a law <laughs> that made it illegal to keep stuff out and this law is coming back to bite him and he asked because he had documents now he's saying with declassified so he was already changes tune three or four times. Now there was a great meme going around, but I can't verify it. So I'm just gonna give you the general sense because the meme was made off of his remarks. But the meme is something akin to um if you can't um if you've been investigated by the FBI, you can't, you shouldn't run for president. And it says, um, oh anyone being investigated by the FBI is not qualified to be president. Now you can't find the exact quote, but what you do find it, oh, and by the way, there's one image that has him saying it like nine times, like dates. What it is, is it's summarizing his thoughts during speeches, where he makes it clear that if you're getting investigated by the FBI, you're not qualified. But I can't find him saying those exact words. So, sorry, great meme, but you want to shit on this moron? You know, you have to, you know, bring some evidence in that sense, because it would have been funny for me to be able to find all the instances of him saying that. But in general, that's his thoughts, right? So we know it is. Fucking moron. But this is a kind of big thing, right? Is this an espionage type thing? You know, no, I don't put it past him making money off this in some way. But he's a fucking dolt. He's a, he's a fucking caveman. And that caveman mentality of anti-science, nonsense, lying, religious bullshit. I love that one interview with Air. He's, he's talking, he's trying to get the religious fucking right on his side. And they ask him about his favorite Bible quote. And for 10 minutes, he just fucking stalls and will, refuses to talk about it as if it's something private and a personal thing. No, you're a lying piece of shit. I don't believe Trump believes in any God. Except for him, his own, his own fucking ego. So he's got nuclear information. They raid his house. They're going to look for stuff. Look, as far as I'm concerned, I don't care about this. Oh, they're trying to prosecute. No one gave him a fit. No, you don't give pieces of shit a fair deal. Like, what do you think this was going to be? You've got this moron, dolt, ass clown who fucking... Believe it or not, just resonates with the mindset of Americans who were upset with Obama and this whole thing with Hillary Clinton and her, oh, her emails. She spent like 11 hours testifying. What's this fucking orange clown doing? So it's stupid. He's just a blithering idiot. But he's got information in his residence. Someone ratted him out, whatever it was. They raided it now. What becomes of this is, yes, it, it's obviously political. It, it's going to be, because it has to be. Now, 
could they use this as a means to disqualify him technically from running for president again? Who knows? Take the opportunity, right? Why not? I guess. But what are we actually looking at here? Because there's this line between, you know, he's got the classified information according to him and there's this, you know, back and forth about what is a lot. You know, look, I get that he might have signed the law or whatever, but some things are accepted not to be enforced to a certain degree. And he actually was called out by uh, some archive department. He, he made another, he lied, obviously. And then they came back and said, no, um, Obama has no say in where these things that we have a say there. And it just, but what is such a great cognitive experiment is just the blinders Trump supporters have on because they are him. Believe it or not, no one wanted the politicians anymore. They wanted a game show host who was just, you know, the gift of gab, whatever you want to say. He was doing Howard Stern way in the 80s and you can tell what a piece of shit he was as a person. But this, uh, you know, idea that this president's going to come back and run again and you know, I'm going to be honest, I really don't care. Because every time you, you hurt the value of the Republican Party, you are going to one day wipe it off the map. Because this is an, is inevitability. You think these gun-toting Trump tards are looking around and they're growing it? No, they have to breed them and then indoctrinate them. And that's going to be hard to do in this day and age where people are growing up with gender fluid identities and, you know, peace and love. And this is just going to go away. Now, you do have issues because of what's going on in the world. You know, this is not everybody's, uh, you know, on the same level. So we got threats from here and China and Ukraine stuff going on. I... Don't like Biden. They didn't vote for Biden. He can go fuck himself. I don't really care. Pelosi, Democrats, show it up your ass. You get what you fucking should in that sense. I feel bad for the friends and family who are, you know, in the general sense, uh, sickened by what's going on in the country with Roe versus Wade being challenged and who knows what'll come next. Marriage equality. They can't get health care for vets until. Fucking John Stewart, yeah, right. Who's John Stewart? You know, has to cha- cha- uh, champion for them. So we're in fucking crazy times to begin with, with nuclear threat, the doomsday clock. It all really, you know, culminates in uh, a state of where we head now with, with all of this and taking everything into account. Uh, NATO, whatever the fuck they're doing in oil and Syria. There's so much bullshit going on. Smoke and mirrors, shell games, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Distractions, misinformation. It's staggering. If when you have a couple of reliable sources that you like to check and you find that they're somewhat telling the truth, and because there's really a percentage of who's telling the truth or who's not. I do not fucking believe this is a fucking vendetta against Trump in the sense of, you know, all of a sudden people are uh, planting information and stuff. No. Yes. Is it, is it a vendetta because you're a fucking scumbag as in the GOP or fucking low lives? Yeah. But that's because the Democrats are low lives. Like, where do you think this is going? And until a proper third party comes out and takes from both and says, you have to start, you know, Listening to our demands, it's never gonna change. And I'm sorry, you know, you vote for blue. I don't give a fuck about vote blue, no matter who either. But we've got a former president whose house was raided, looking for information pertaining to nuclear information. Everybody keeps saying codes, but whatever. This guy is had his dirty, fucking, filthy hands involved in everything. His whole nepotism and his family making money off everything, the Kushner bullshit, is criminal. More criminal than Biden's fucking son with a, uh, and a drug addiction.
So that's just more bullshit to throw around. Cloud everybody's personal shit and, you know, but it's a crime. It's a crime that Hunter Biden is fucking gets away with a certain amount of shit. But that doesn't mean Trump's people should get around with the shit. And all these fucking asshats from Ted Cruz, Rubio, and that fucking green chick, and, you know, all these little fucking morons. It just, it's not going to work for long. You can't keep doing this, sorry. You really think you're going to have a country where abortion is illegal? Now, these are fucking power play moves and little ships on the board of chessboard. But it's a dying fight in every case. But it's just how much damage you're going to do on the way out. How much damage can Trump do with nuclear codes? I'm not fucking sure. I'm reading articles trying to get ready for this fucking thing. Um, you know, my beautiful home, Mar Lago, is currently in the siege. You know, like, who gives a fuck? You're just fucking a douchebag who became president. Look, it happens, right? And now you're fucking. Got to deal with the shit that you started. Or maybe, you know, you didn't start politics, but you started your own fucking mess. And I hope he goes to jail forever. Like, I, I don't care. But if Biden was guilty of things, then let him go to jail too. Let them all go to fucking jail. Hillary should be in fucking jail. And not for those emails. But for what she was actually fucking sued and fined for, which was rigging the fucking democratic thing and screwing Bernie over. And I blame not the people, not my friends who are sick of everything and don't want to vote and get, you know, made fun of or yelled at on Facebook because, no, no, you're a, you know what, stop, leave the fucking people alone. This is your fucking mess also. And it's the mess of the politicians. If they don't know that the heart of America is in pain and sick with all this bullshit, you know, uh, Trust me, one cancer uh, thing in the family, and you're in the whole, it's all bankrupt. It shouldn't be this way. Not in this day and age, Joe. I don't give a fuck. Yes, what danger does it bring to the state? Well, yes, I wouldn't want nuclear code. Like, I had this conversation about UFOs, believe it or not, right? So, yeah. I don't believe in the alien bullshit, but I would be concerned if there were fucking you know, unidentified objects in the air over, over places. Yeah, look, go investigate it. Like, um, so I'm not ruling out the, this is a dangerous thing. But it's obviously it's another political ploy. You know, it just gets really sickening when you're living in a country and things are just you know, snowballing and getting fucking wackier and wackier. And it doesn't look like any, there's no help from Democrats. They passed this fucking act that's like a, um, supposed to be like a planet saving thing. And the experts are screaming everywhere, no, you just, this is genocide pact. I don't think people really understand climate change. Maybe that's a fucking podcast in itself. But have I done one? But we have, Lots of trouble coming. And yes, there could be innovations that pull shit out of the air and we're getting closer to technology. But I'm telling you what we are getting closer to is, you know, hardship, death. It's coming. And, and, you know, we don't see it in our lifetimes, maybe. But we have to think of the future. And yes, it's important that Trump is investigated for nuclear information. The man is a despicable fucking asshole. But, in the biggest scheme of things, this is another fucking political circus in a time where we should be focusing. Like, I don't get it. You know, you do these fucking filibusters and stuff. Meanwhile, there are countries in this world that have free Medicare. And don't give me the bullshit. Oh, waiting. Let's no, The private shit doesn't go away. It'll be there. It's part of the industry. They make too much money. We're saying, come up with a plan, which they fucking did, and although it was poo-pooed and de- quote-unquote debunked, no, it was proven that it worked, 
and you would make money off it, but whatever. We're fucking talking about Trump getting raided, having nuclear codes, and um, you know, jumping around from all these political things because in between my podcasts, I just want to have fun and doing movies I like and TV shows I like, maybe some science articles that you know get the geek in me, and you know. You come down to reality, it is fucking former bullshit artist, lying president. And how dangerous can this be in the end? Um, you know, I don't really know. Like, more information maybe will come out about the actual information and what he has. And, like, I don't know, but i'm not against seeing him make money off this in any sense and if that's the case and whatever look you you shit the bed the last time you pulled this fucking bullshit with him in court and that guy couldn't find he colluded with anybody you had like seven fucking things you could have fucked him over for because he's just a stupid moron but you went with nonsense and you just shit the bed publicly on fucking TV. There's no spin that convinces me. I'm sorry. Take your fucking bullshit thing when that guy came back and said no. And then made illusions like seven or eight Russians are on the Look, you Russiagate bullshit nonsense. So it's it's all on both sides, but just seeing him on the news, like I don't want to see him. You know, there was a great fucking TikTok or whatever the fuck it was on Twitter. And the guys, you know, you don't hide your codes in the, um, when you're safe in your house, man, you're a former president. He goes, you hide them with your buried wife on your golf course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Ivanka, rest in peace, right? Rest in power. What are we going to do in America? A former president, the ass clown himself. House got raided and they pertaining to nuclear information. Now, I, I know again this fucking meme or this sound bites of nuclear codes. I don't know if that's exactly what it is. You know, what's, you know, see, to me, what's more dangerous is not the codes themselves, right? Because I, look, I could just see the codes being changed in a second. But isn't it more information, like location? I can't see the country upping all the nuclear, uh, unless they even say nuclear waste, let's even say nuclear anything, right? Like where we have whatever, or missiles that have been, you know, disarmed. And in any case, like you can't just change codes, right? If the, if the locations themselves are the information, that's probably even more dangerous. Now, the codes would be more dangerous, like, if no one ever found out, right? Like, you know, in some movie, there's some fucking bunch of nerd hackers, because no one knows, like, even the Department of Justice or whatever the fuck. Uh, shout out to Justin. Um, you know, could that have been, you know, I don't, you know, look. I don't want fucking nuclear codes going around. I don't want their information. I don't want any information about nuclear stuff going around. Is this a mistake in the end? Is this one of those, let's persecute this orange man, this despicable human, and make sure he's not going to run again or can't run again? Without a doubt, they're going to use this. Without a doubt. Why not? You tell me they wouldn't. The Republican wing of this fucking bullshit is the most despicable fucking humans alive. And they hold up a Bible and fucking spout nonsense with their bullshit with pro-life and this garbage. And by the way, the far fucking left ain't that much better. Yeah, I grant it a little better, you know, fucking. But it's, look, again, I'm sitting here with this fucking podcast going on, you know, oh, I want to watch a fucking movie, I want to talk about a fucking movie and have, you know, what joy it gave me or how I got aggravated. No, it's fucking the zeitgeist, the whole fucking thing about the country, where we are, and what we're dealing with. And if it's not one thing after another, these fucking yahoos try to tear down and make it, you know, every state should, you know, vote for if they want abortion legal or not. Well, you know, they got their answer in Kansas when they say, go fuck yourself. And 
But these things erode the foundation of, you know, politics in America. And I think that's the point of this podcast. It doesn't matter if it's totally true, if it's totally false. And yes, the truth matters, and you know, to me a lot in the general sense. But it's not going to matter in the grand scheme of what this political circus is in America. In the United States of America, politics is a rigged, dirty system. I want these people with no time. I want them gone. Takes the Supreme Court. You found out the three of them lied to get there. Get them out. It's that simple. And that fucking crazy insane, because it's not simple, right? So holy shit, you know, fucking women, uh, Facebook's giving up information about women having an abortion, like, just wait, because this is going to erode the foundation, it's going to collapse, and it's going to be a scary time, but if we make it through, I think we're all going to be better. I really try to emphasize that, that as much as of an asshole I am, a sarcastic, irreverent fucking idiot, and sometimes I cross the borderline of, you know, being, you know, just sarcastic and generally letting a little anger out about what's going on. Like, I don't want to be in this place and time. And they can all say, oh, then leave. Well, you know what? Give me the money to leave. Like, I, I fucking find... A lot better places that I would prefer. However, I'm going to say it. The United States of America is one of the greatest places to live in the world. Without a doubt. And I'm happy and so much gratitude for the luck of me being born here. Whatever the fuck it is in New York City, Brooklyn, New York. But the state of this country's political arena is fucking atrocious. It's just horrible. And there's no way it works in the end. I don't care how many terms Democrats are going to have, if they win, if they smear him. You've got a sickness. It's an infection. It's contaminated. And all the Democrats are part of it. As much as AOC was touted, she fell right in line. Look at Bernie for years. I told her third party... You know, it was, yeah, well, you had your chance. You did nothing but kowtow and beg and let them shit on you. What fucking, you know, what enthusiasm do I have? I don't care anymore. And this is the thing that's going to hurt people. People don't care. Don't care to vote. There's no fucking going out and feeling you're politically represented anymore. This is not what's going on. And yeah, you'll get these Republicans elect some radio host asshat. And then when they get scared, they rise up and they'll elect a Biden or whatever, which is fucking gross to begin with. So, do I worry about Trump with the codes? (sighs) Not really, i got to be honest. Now, bomb goes off, whatever the fuck, you know, oh shit, but. I really just think this guy's just a fucking clown. Yes, he's dangerous in that sense. That anybody would form it in, his, in whatever. Yes, it's always a danger. And he's a fucking mongol. Whatever the fuck you call it, a mongol. Mogul. He's always looking to make money. And you know he's been fucking in pockets with the Russians and all that nonsense with his estates and stuff. So yeah, I, I can see it being part of this fucking rhetoric play he has when dealing with things on you know other than the presidency keeping his name his stamps and all the fucking bullshit but you know just me going to look at the statement on did he ever say investigated investigated by the fbi you're not qualified and by the way it's this date where he said it a, a bunch of times but you can't find it and that bothers me also not as much as this asshole that he is. Because it's being played on both sides. And that is kind of sad. I don't want to see vote blue no matter who from the people I really love. Because you're in the same mindset. You just don't see your reflection of what's going on. And I just started noticing it. It was like a realization from... And it broke my heart almost. Because I don't maybe talk to a lot of my cousins and... 
aunts and uncles on that in that way anymore but you can see it happening like what's going on like what is this like they go out and they come on facebook or they go out and they you know go to neighborhoods whatever the fuck they do and try to get people to vote and explain what's going on in this country why the democrats are the you know, only way and i feel for them because the facade is breaking you know and it's inevitable how rich is nancy pelosi i mean really this is fucking ridiculous get her out change the laws with the fucking term limits you got lawyers on the supreme court get them out this is bullshit if this should be a big change in the structure of politics and it's up to the people i guess it's up to us right well you know what we're too busy trying to make rent and trying to make sense of this fucking life you know I, this is what we depend on the elites for whatever you want to call it these are people who we elect do we you know but and it feels like we're not the same species like they don't have empathy for people and it never will change in that sense i think you need a real big strong third party movement and i've said it again to a lot of my things as i'm rambling here because what do we really know about this it'll develop further but it keeps coming back to the same mess i don't you know see this working out well for any party there isn't for me a good and bad party anymore it's just one party right and we got these memes of him going around on saying um you know anyone being investigated anybody up you guys are well obviously we know the fucking memes are getting at right that's it i guess this might be a law that there's something you can do for people who have um like, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot. I turn, I get, I smoke some weed, I'm addiction master, and I do my podcast, and, you know, I don't, I don't know. I, I wonder if my oblivious nature to this, because I'm just so sick of it, that it is more of an important thing. But well, I've said, you know, yeah, it's important. I want to know what the fuck's going on. I don't want to be, you know scared or worried about things like that so fuck it if you're innocent you're innocent if you're guilty you're guilty if, and this oh they're gonna plan stuff stop it you can you fucking gop right wings you fucking tout these fucking people they did their job oh then then no it's bad now because it's against this orange fucking ass clown I, no stop it you the fbi the loyal fucking you know People, of course, there were jerk offs everywhere. I'm not. This, this is not that. But damn, I do podcasts. It's like Trump rated, but it's so much shit attached to it. Like you can't just get down to what a moron he is because it doesn't work. I can't do four hours on debunking every fucking thing that people touted he did and he didn't do, or you know the twenty two thousand lies he told. It's just, whatever you want to call it, cognitive bias, distortions, and, you know, people are going to have blinders on for these things. Is it a danger? I, I, I really don't know. I don't think I care enough in that sense. Because although I talk about, you know, friends not going to vote and all that stuff, like, it's me too. Like, I don't want this bullshit no more and i'm um, you know being 50 i gotta go out and what you know uh start a campaign for them with some fucking democratic twats to fuck me over so yeah this is a blend of everything it's a comeuppance for his fucking nonsense sure is it a vendetta sure if i got evidence and it's true i'm gonna use it of course you are but trump whatever stop the fucking bullshit so you voted and you're backing a despicable human whatever and some of the things i've seen are the democrats are possessed by demonic souls to conspiracy fucking upon conspiracy bullshit 
Well, I don't think this is a conspiracy. I think this moron did have information. Now, whether it was declassified and whatever, whatever, there's obviously the FBI is calling his bluff. They have the receipts or whatever. They did it properly. They tried to get this done early. And then it's probably just a twist on things also. Because the way they were, like, who knows what goes on? But, you know, you wake up to the news. Trump's house is being fucking raided. Oh, shit. Uh, what the? And then, oh, nuclear information. Like, what? We know where this is going to go, right? Maybe a fake bullshit press tour will go on. They'll give Trump all the necessary uh, free fucking advertisements that they gave him the first time. And he'll ride it to victory in, in his stupid mobile, you know. Because this is the way you live life, these people. Doesn't matter, jail time and all that stuff. It's really bullshit. People talking about, you know, Clinton and the fucking Epstein. But he's there too. It's just disgusting. But I just try to have a frame of mind where I can't blame people. I can't say, oh, Bob was. Yeah, he was pleasantly, you know, charismatic and stuff, but he killed more people, he ran out of bombs. How do I fucking tout that above what douchebag Donald did? Yeah, I didn't like when he fucking bowed to those cunts who, you know, paid for, you know, planning out the tax on 9-11 or, you know, funding them billions of dollars. All that stuff sickens me. And it's part of politics now. Because it's okay. You know, it's all whatever story we can tell everybody. Not really, you know, the truth. So, I guess that's just rambling on. and But like I said, just, you know, I don't know if you listen to this from a different country or whatever, but you wake up in this country and it's, oh, the former president, his house was raided. Oh, what the fuck are they doing that for? What are you? No. Oh, it's, it involves nuclear information. <laughs> <laughs> that's insane to begin with. This is fucking ridiculousness. Holy shit. I don't even know where this is going. I got two fucking articles open up, but I just don't care to read this shit. Like, yeah, it just, I mean, yeah, I, I got them ready and read it, but I don't want to do it like a science thing where I read it, because this is just my feels, bro. <laughs> I, I'm just fucking sick. I want to smoke weed and play games with my friends and, like, you know, make it through a fucking work week, sweating my balls off in a fucking car that's not air conditioning, okay? And I'm working out of my car. Like, this is, you know, the things I worry about. Two, two mistakes with my car and whatever, and I'm borrowing fucking money to pay my rent. I mean, this is how it works. We don't have the time and the dedication to focus. So it's a perfect political system to take advantage of every fucking average person. And you want to bring up fucking, uh, you know, um... Uh, test or whatever fucking think of the words now on how money changes people like the more money you make the less empathy you have and every fucking category above that of money can't buy you happiness well yes it can and, and it also erodes things like this is a political nightmare and a circus at the same time because these are scary clowns running around Fucking nuclear clothes, orange man bed, you know, deranged fucking, you know, hair toucher, smelling guy. Like, what the fuck is going on? We're so desperate in this country. It's, it's sad. Oh, I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go along. I'll probably do a fucking another continuation to this, like Trump raid part two. Whatever the fuck. I mean, I really don't, you know, I really don't want to be bothered. In that sense. But here we are. Political arena. What's coming up? A new election is coming. And uh, house seats. That's just garbage, nonsense, shell game, smoke mirrors, bullshit. But the same system. It's not Democrats and Republicans. Stop fucking fooling everybody. 
And as much as an ass hat people like Jimmy Dore are, or you know, whatever, you have so many people attacking the fucking Republicans and stuff, and the GOP, or whatever. I appreciate people who attack only like the Democrats too. They don't get away with it because they're fucking Democrats. And yes, he's a blowhard, uh, you know, myopic fucking nutbag sometimes. And I don't even like, like watching them. But it's just, you know, I want people keeping Democrats straight or whatever you want to call it. And let's get out of this fucking scary times and look to new things. Because there are beautiful things happening. Sometimes I do the uh, 20 breakthroughs and medical science and all these break like we're close to doing things and cancer like this is gonna be you know what what we're afraid now to fucking our former president sold fucking nuclear information i mean for fuck's sake get a grip can we get a president who's fairly young and not religious uh, i don't know in any case there's my ramblings about trump being raided uh, nonsense on both sides. If you're guilty, you're guilty. Throw the book at him. I don't give a fuck. Any case, hope you're doing well, everybody. I'll talk to you all next time. Laters.